There's a number of different tools available to you to edit your publication. So after you've imported your content, you simply click on the design section and in here we can actually edit the text. So we can jump into each paragraph and insert additional fields or text as we see fit. If you look over on the right hand side, you should see an option called the edit uh, window and in here there will be a set of tools that we can use to edit the text and most of them you're already familiar with such as the undo button, uh, redo, cut, copy, paste and so on, italic, underline, bold, you're all familiar with those. You can also create hyperlinks by simply selecting a word and clicking edit and then going in and typing in the URL that you would like them to go to. You can insert HTML code embed images uh, which is quite easy to do so I can come along here and click image and then just add in a graphic audio files the same idea again I can go in and insert an audio file and here we have that imported and again video clips I can go in and insert uh, video clips now the video clips must be mp4 um, so I could come along multimedia and there we go and we can see they're all added in here uh, which is great. Now there's a bunch of other tools for styling so you can add in bullet points, you can align the text as you see fit you could also insert page breaks so let's say for example you wanted that video clip to play in a new chapter you could simply go in and insert page break and it'll ask you to specify whether you want this to be a new paragraph or a new chapter if I click chapter you can see it's created a new chapter here with that text and again if you want the video clip just playing on its own again you set in a new chapter again and again you come back and go to the output tab if you want to rename those chapters.